Yo, what up YouTube? Today I got a new video for you showing you how to defeat what I like to call the Chinese checkers map. It sort of reminds me of, if you ever played that as a kid, all the different colored areas. That's sort of what it reminds me of. Uh, so we're gonna go through and break this, break this down. I'll show you the easiest way I feel like uh, to attack the map. I haven't done it yet, so we're just gonna do it. You know, fuck it, we're gonna do it live. Uh, before we get into that, I want to show you something else. The new, where's it at? Programs, Daily Moments. There's a whole new, you can still get to Giambi if you haven't done it yet. If it's, if you're a new player and you didn't get a chance to get Jason Giambi for the uh, Evolution program, you can get it now. But they also have two new ones. There's a Kemp and a Bum Gardener. You'll have a chance to get both packs during this month if you continue to do the dailies every day. There is a very nice Gary Sheffield, which is going to go right into our outfield as soon as we get it, especially on no money spent. And if you do it for the whole month, there's 5,000 stubs, there's packs, tons of packs, tons of good stuff here. And all you have to do is the daily moment. Uh, the first one for today is two innings. Do not give up a hit with Nolan Ryan. So we're going to knock that out and then we're going to get into the map. All right, and we struck out Vladdy to end it. Like I said, it takes one try. It's on Rookie. It's super easy. Do your daily missions, please. They lead to such good things for no money spent. Okay, so the way I think I'm going to attack this is, well, first off, you hit your triangle button, and it'll tell you what you need to do on this map. We need to steal 4 million fans, so we'll do that. Uh, we need to conquer all the 50 territories. Capture two enemy strongholds, capture a hundred territories, capture four enemy strongholds, capture all the strongholds, and conquer all the territories. Now, what I'm gonna do is we have 10 in our in our uh in our stronghold, right? So I'm gonna try to move these extra ones, attack around our stronghold to build a circle area around our main area. And I'll show you that right now. We're gonna attack. You simulate all these, by the way. Unless you're trying to grind stats, maybe, then you will, you know, uh, go ahead and play some of those games if you want to. But for the most part, you just want to sim these. Sometimes you're going to get lucky, and you know we might be able to, we might be able to sneak out a second one right there. If you don't lose any runs, you can probably sneak out a second one. See, we're doing pretty well right there. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll try to sneak out a second one here. And we did. Same thing here. And just keep doing that until you build a circle around your, your little base area. Okay, so after one full cycle around, one full turn, attack turn, I have this extra layer built around my center, right? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and sim well, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and see if we can sneak out one more with these threes. Nope. Oh, yeah, we did. We have any more threes? Yeah, we got one here. Let's see if we can snag an extra one here and get lucky. Mm, nope. Look at that. We're getting a little bit of luck. Sometimes you'll get lucky, sometimes you won't. The twos, there's no way because it's basically... 50-50 and I don't want to take the chance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip to the steal fans phase and We need to steal four million fans. So we're probably gonna go after Colorado first Either Colorado or Seattle. I guess we'll just go after Colorado. So we'll go ahead and try to steal fans from them You can uh, let's See Colorado you can steal one million on rookie uh, Two on veteran three on all-star four on Hall of Fame I'm gonna go ahead and try to do all-star and steal three million fans all in this one turn. So whatever you decide to do, play that game. I'm actually gonna use my creative player here too to get some uh, extra XP for him. All right, so after striking out the side pretty much here in the last inning, we easily won this game on All-Star, six to two. Depending upon what kind of squad you have, you know, it could be easy, it could be hard. Um, like I said, we haven't spent any money yet. We're just using the cards we've been grinding out and getting from uh, doing the programs and stuff and a little bit of pack luck in the free packs we've gotten. And so that's the team we're going with. All right, so you'll want to advance. Ooh, we leveled Dylan Carlson up. Nice. Carlson, I'm telling you. Ooh, five packs. Bonus two. 
Dylan Carlson is is one of those players you definitely want to make sure you took because the more you level him up, the, the more dirty he gets. All right, so the way I'm attacking this map is I want to take out each territory one at a time. So we're going to go straight for the Rockies. We're going to go straight for their headquarters, try to take them out, and then we'll move our, our troops to this side and go after the Angels or the, the Mariners, one of the two, and then, you know, so on and so forth. We'll keep moving. We're going to try to go straight line right to the to the territory's uh, leader spot. And then after we got all, what is there, six of them? Then we'll clean up the map, if that makes sense. So we want to reinforce this spot. Let's make sure we're on the right one. We want to reinforce that right there. And then these, these troops that you have here in the middle, you want to move them to there as well. So that gives you 20 million right there. So then you take the shortest path straight to the, uh, the headquarters there. shortest and easiest cheapest path so that way you have the most troops available and then you go right after him this game's gonna be on rookie this is super easy so you go in knock that game out all right as you can see this game was super easy I even in the last inning ran my guys if they if it was gonna be a double I tried for a triple just you know to try to make outs a couple times I actually made it the third uh, but yeah Super easy on rookie. Knock that game out. Now we have the Rockies territory. So we can now move ahead to the next turn. All right, so instead of attacking more, we want to save as many troops as possible. So we're going to go ahead and go to the Steel Fans phase. And we're going to go ahead and go after the Angels since they're, well, yeah. Let's go ahead and go after the Angels. So we're going to Steel Fans from them. Because we have to steal them anyways. Uh, we're going to go ahead and steal on Rookie just so it's easy. If you can steal on any level you want to, we have to steal 4 million fans all together anyways. I believe, wasn't it? Wasn't it 4? Was it 5? Yeah, it was 4. So we'll go ahead and steal a million from them just to add to our pile and knock that out. So go ahead and play that game. All right, so we won that game. We leveled up Hobby, which was nice. Got more stuff. Okay, so now we're going to reinforce... Let's see, the quickest path is going to be three fights before we get to the Angels. So we'll go ahead and reinforce right here. And then you're going to want to move these 17 down to here. And then we're going to go straight at them like we did before. Hopefully we get some quick wins. That would be great. See, like that. That's what we need. Come on now. Come on, R and Jesus, be good to us. There you go, see? Now you may not get that lucky. Like right now I'm not losing anything and that's pretty lucky in my opinion. Yeah, we literally lost, the, like, I must be living a semi-charm kind of life right now as the song says. Uh, but anyways, we're going after the angels. This time it's gonna be on veteran and as you know, <sighs> veteran at times can be a little tricky, but if you pay attention, and you're on your game, it shouldn't be a problem. Make sure, if possible, you're always using your fifth starter, which for me is my creative player. So if you're trying to level a creative player, throw them in that fifth spot right there. There's your starting pitcher and just use them. Go to town. Let's take out the Angels. All right, we knocked out the Angels, got their territory now, so they can't build up anything else. It was a little sweaty, as veterans can sometimes be, as I've said before. <laughs> more packs all right so now we are gonna go ahead and let's see go to steal fans this time i'm not gonna steal any fans i'm just gonna go straight to reinforce and try to reinforce the quickest path to the giants as possible so right here it'll take three games to get to the giants so we'll reinforce that we'll move these troops to here and then we're gonna go straight at the Giants simulating the three games hopefully we get lucky again man we are getting lots of luck today they're gonna piddle around up there even though they don't have a headquarters anymore they can still technically attack with their little bit of troops but it doesn't matter we're ignoring them yeah we're ignoring them. it doesn't matter uh, They don't have enough to... Oh, yeah, they actually do. Doesn't matter. 
Actually, it does. They just took their stronghold back. Okay, don't do what I just did there. Oh my god, what an idiot. Okay, now something I need to mention before we go after Boston here, and it's something I had to learn the hard way when doing this map. You need to make sure to leave, you need to pay attention to the amount of troops the team you're taking over uh, has next to your base area still that you took from them. Like, say down here, there's still four million here, so I left 12 here, so they, if they attack, I sim it, I win it. See what I'm saying? We have one here, they're not gonna attack with two. And they can't build up anymore, so they have to have whatever they have next to you at the time you take their their area. Like, see right here, Boston has eight and seven, right? So when you take over a territory, make sure to leave behind an equal amount of troops based on the troops that are next to it still, in case they try to attack you and take their territory back, if that makes sense. Do not leave them with just one troop. I made that mistake and I had to replay uh, one of these uh, strongholds and yeah, that's not fun. So don't do that. Learn from my mistake. And that's why I'm telling you now to make sure to leave enough troops in there uh, based on how many they have still next to the territory. <sighs> Anyways, veteran game against the Giants. Well, let's take them out. All right, we're going to go ahead and finish this one off. Getting the Giants home area. So now we have three of the areas done. We're halfway home. This was actually an easy game on veterans. Sometimes they can be a little more tricky, but this one was super easy. Okay, so after you take out the Giants, we're going to go after the uh, Mariners next. It's two quick games to their facilities. So we're going to reinforce right here. And then we're going straight down for the Mariners. This should be a rookie game unless they take some of our troops. Uh, they took one there. Let's see. Took another. And this will be another veteran game. So get in there and knock that out. Take the Mariners, and then we only got two left, and then we can just wipe out the rest of the map. So just keep going. All right, so we took the Mariners out pretty easily, especially on Veteran, 4-0. So we only got two territories left, and we get to clean this bad boy up. So we're cruising along right now. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Mercedes up to level one. Love it, love it. Uh, we must have, yeah. Yeah, we're level 22 now on the first inning program, so we're approaching that level 25 first inning bosses pack. All right, so we're gonna skip attack phase. Um, looks like it'll take three games to get to Milwaukee, so we'll go ahead and try to knock them out. And they're gonna try to take a few of those troops. They didn't. So this is gonna be a rookie game. This is so easy. I thought this map would be more of a pain in the butt, but actually it's been really easy. So go in there and knock out this Brewers game. Then we only got one more. And then we can just clean the map up and get our packs and go open them. And hopefully get some diamonds. And just like that, the Brewers are done. Easy game. I mostly just sped through it while I was watching the Cardinals game tonight. But, you know, it's okay. Just do what you got to do to get through some of these games. Because they could be a little boring. Uh, you know, no matter who you're playing or, you know, what level it's on, they can get a little monotonous. And then we're going to take out Boston on veteran last territory. And then we're cleaning up the map. Let's go. All right. So we molly whopped the Red Sox kind of fitting because we're wearing the Yankees road uniform. So it's kind of funny, but yeah, so that's all of the stronghold. So now we just have to go around and clean up all the territories. This is one of the most boring and mundane things there is but make sure you focus and that you clean it all up really good you know what i mean all right so right now we have 25 troops here so the best thing to do i think is to head south and clean up some of these smaller territories so that's what we're gonna do
And just like that, we're done. So easy. Look at all the rewards we got coming our way now. Congratulations, we conquered it. You can reset it, and you're never gonna fucking touch it again. Ever. Ever. So anyways, that's how you do that map. So I hope it was helpful. We're gonna go open all our packs now, because I think we have a crap ton, actually, of packs. And yes, that is an actual, you know, metric system thing, a uh, crap ton. So let's go see what we got here. We got a gold perk pack from level in our creative player. So take the most valuable one. Looks like 720. Okay, we'll sell that later. Gold equipment, take the most valuable piece. Oh, that's, ooh. Ooh, okay. Some of the equipment prices appear to be going back up. A certain glitch might have disappeared, huh? All right, let's see what we get out of these packs. Hum better, hum better, hum better. Ooh, nice Braves unis. Hum better, hum better, hum better, hum better, hum better. Lance Lynn, nice. Lance Lynn on his way to Diamond, by the way. Nice to get him now. We're looking for diamonds! Yukon Cornelius is the only one looking for gold! Man, packs make me so sad. All right, ball in his habit gonna give us a diamond. I can feel it. Ready? Ah, another Lance Lynn. That's some stubs, anyways. Booyah! Ooh, purple. I think purple's good, right? I don't know. It kind of looks like Bryce Harper. Oh! Oh! Fernando Tatis! Okay! All right, I see you, Fernando! All right! And a Kenley Jansen! Now that is how you end a stream! That is how you end a video! Bada bing, bada boom! Woo, baby, let's go! We're having a little bit of luck on this account. We got Freeman uh, a couple videos ago, and now we got Tatis. Definitely gonna add him to the team. Another thing we're gonna do is we are going to remove Roberto Alomar. Yes, Roberto Alomar is a good card, but Roberto Alomar is not a good person. So we'll go ahead and put Tatis here and we'll go ahead and slide our dude Javi Baez over there to second base because we don't play with no douchebags on our team, all right? All right, so that's just gonna upgrade the team. We're gonna move Fernando here. And that'll move Salmon here. And then everybody else just slides down a spot. I don't think anybody, any of our bench spots get upgraded. No, because I like who we have. Um, pitching wise, we could add Lance Lynn instead of Woodruff. And I, we, will, we will go ahead and do that. Uh, bullpen, we got Kenley. So Lucas Sims, it's been nice knowing you. Our team is upgraded. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions about the map, please leave them in the comment section below. I will answer them as soon as you put them there. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps uh, my channel analytics, helps get the videos out there more, gets more views, and that gets more people to subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't done that yet, it's free. Click the subscribe button, turn the notifications on. I upload every day. Did you say every day, Buck? Every day here on YouTube. 9 a.m. Central Time is the upload time. Sometimes it might be a little later, but so far, knock on wood, has been 9 a.m. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, I am Big Ol' Buck. I'll see you later.